This is a story about why I never played church. Um, I was a, I had to be about eight, nine years old when my grandmother first told my cousins and I about the story when she was playing church. Now, we live in South Florida. I live in Miami. I was born here. My grandmother was born in the next county over in Broward, which is like literally like five minutes away. But where she lived, it wasn't developed yet. This was like in the 50s, I want to say. And um, it was very country before it turned, you know, like a city. And um, she said it was her her other sisters and brothers it was about eight of them in total but not all of them were there they were in like this rickety shack like the walls was missing the roof was missing but it had like a couple of seats and a bench and this had to be she said around like eight o'clock at night they were supposed to be home but they out playing church she said her baby sister act like she had the holy ghost she falling all on the ground rolling her brother he's playing the pastor they playing like they in the choir and they singing and carrying on so they say, look out in the distance, they hear a, like a deep laughter, sound like a monster. So she said her sisters and they, her brother, they looked up in the distance, riding through the trees. Now, this is a country. All you see is the moonlight, the stars, and they got like a fire lantern with them. And they see this 10-foot tall devil. She said the man had horns, and he like riding on his biggest horse that you ever seen with a carriage, a buggy attached to it, pulling them. He whipping the hell out of it. She said his teeth was like red. It was sharp like vampire teeth. And she said she looked at them to make sure they were seeing the same thing because my grandmother had always been able to see the supernatural since she was little. And they looking too scared as hell because they see it too. He laughing, whipping the horses, and he coming, he coming. She said they got up out of there. They start running as fast as you can. And she said that thing ran them all the way home. And they looking back, every time they looking back, he's still behind him, he's still behind him. So finally they get to the house and it just disappeared. And she was like, they'll, they said they'll never do that again. And from my understanding, they never talked about it. And when we was little, we was like, what the heck? My grandma always had the craziest stories. And that just added to the list. Not My grandmother's not known to be a liar or anything, so we didn't think she was lying. We just was like, wow, grandma lived in the country. She saw some crazy things. So my cousin, fast forward to like 20-something years later, now, she said a few years ago, she was with my grandma, and they, she went to her sister's house. And my grandma's sister brought up, Marva, you don't remember that time that demon devil was chasing us? And she said my grandma looked at her with like terror in her eyes, like, I still dream about that to this day. And my cousin was like, oh, my God. So it's actually true. And they started talking about it, going into details. And I was just like, whoa. It's another one to add to the list of crazy things that my grandma have seen and witnessed in her lifetime.